Hello friends, today in this video we will discuss about CSI UGC net based questions on Lakaparan which are usually asked in group C. So let us discuss one of the questions related to this topic. So the question is given like there are two strains having genotype OC I plus Z minus OC for operator I for inducer and Z for beta galactosidase gene. So two strains are present one uh, having genotype OC I plus Z minus and another one have a genotype of O plus I minus and Z plus. So at first we have to see that within this each strain and then when these two uh, DNA molecule if present in a single strain then in that case the expression is occurring or not. So the question is that uh, we have to see that the expression of this gene is present in all the three strain or not. So the strain P1, P2 and the uh, marrow diploid strain in which both of this uh, DNA is present. So in that case the expression is occurring or not. So let us solve this question. So for, so for the first strain P1 whose genotype is I have already discussed about uh, lac operon in, in my video you have you, in my previous video you can see them. So uh, in this P1 strain we can see that uh, the genotype was OC I plus and Z minus. So operator here is mutated okay so the mutation is occurred and and because of this mutation the i which leads to the expression of repressor molecule which uh, goes and bind to this operator region in this case cannot bind because operator is mutated so uh, this mutation leads to the inhibition of binding of this repressor okay so when this repressor cannot bind to this operator the RNA polymerase can continuously bind to this OC region okay RNA polymerase can easily bind because repressor was not allow this RNA polymerase to induce the expression so RNA polymerase can easily bind and it can catalyze the expression of this lack of operon genes but we can see that here it is given that Z is minus that means the gene for beta galactosidase is not present. So even the mutation of operator which leads to binding of RNA polymerase and not allowing the binding of repressor. So even this RNA polymerase is easily binding and it can catalyze the expression of these genes but because these genes are not present so there will be no expression of beta galactosidase because the gene is not present if the gene would have present then this operon would have been constitutively synthesized because operator is mutated which is not allowing the inducer to bind okay so in p1 there will be no expression okay now let us discuss about p2 strain for p2 strain the genotype is O plus I minus and Z plus O plus I minus Z plus so again we know that uh, in normal condition what happens that O plus for wild type allele I am saying O plus I plus and Z plus the genotype is like this for the wild allele so in this case I plus codes for repressor which goes and bind to this O plus and the presence of lactose in media will is taken by beta uh, is taken by the permease which allow the lactose to enter and after this lactose is converted to allolactose this allolactose binds to this repressor modifies them so that they do not bind here and RNA polymerase can bind and catalyze the expression this is what happens under normal scenario but in this scenario we can see that O plus is present I minus is not present the inducer gene which code for this repressor is not present so here for this P2 uh, no repressor will be synthesized so we do not need lactose to uh, modify them okay so we do not need lactose to modify them 
so here RNA polysomerase can easily bind irrespective of whether lactose is present or not and the constitutive expression of Z blocker should be constitutively expressed for this P2 strain because the repressor is not present here so repressor will not go and uh, bind the operator region and, uh, and because of that the RNA polymerase can easily bind to the promoter and can easily catalyze the expression of this gene so in this case the constitutive expression of Z plus is present because we do not require lactose here lactose function was to inhibit the function of repressor to modify the repressor so if repressor is not present so what is the need of lactose here even the lactose is present or even the lactose is not present where our lac operon will be constitutively expressed so for p2 lac operon will be constitutively expressed now what will happen if this two genotype is present in a merodiploid state a merodiploid state is a state in which the bacteria exist in a partial diploid state so so the bacteria uh, having one in one case is oc i plus and z minus in another case o plus i minus and z plus we know that for p1 strain there was no expression because no gene for beta galactosidase was present even the repressor cannot bind to this mutated site okay just because uh, no gene for beta galactoside was present so even the repressor was synthesized it cannot bind to this mutated site so no expression but in this case for uh, partial diploid state we can see that when this two dna molecule is present in a single state in this case this dna molecule which uh, do not contain any kind of your um, repressor or inducer gene in this case the repressor from this dna molecule will go and bind to this operator okay so here it will go and bind to so uh, to this operator and rna polymerase cannot catalyze the expression of beta galactosidase when both of these dna fragments are present in a single bacterial cell so for this case only when lactose is present when lactose is present then it can catalyze the expression of beta galactoside because lactose will be taken inside and it will be converted to allolactose and this allolactose will go and bind to this repressor which is coded by the p1 parental genotype okay so it will go and bind to this i plus or repressor and as a result of which it cannot bind to this operator then the expression of z plus will occur so here the expression will be inducible because lactose is modifying the repressor and repressor is binding the operator region because the other dna molecule in which the, the gene for this repressor coding is present can go and bind to this operator region so when this p2 was alone present i1 i minus the inducer was not present inducer gene was absent so in that case the repressor was not binding to operator because i gene the inducer gene which was coding for uh, repressor uh, was absent so rna polymers can easily bind and can catalyze the expression but when the bacterial cell is in uh, marrow diploid state so the other dna molecule was containing this i plus gene so this inducer gene will go and bind to this operator region and will not allow RNA polymerase to catalyze the expression so in that case only if we will add lactose to the medium then this lactose will go and bind to the um, repressor molecule and will not allow its binding to operator so in that case only the uh, uh, RNA polymerase can bind and can catalyze the expression of beta galactosidase so in that case the expression is inducible okay not not constitutive because the presence of lactose will only induce the expression so it is inducible 
and for p1 uh, no expression because the gene was absent for beta galactosidase and for p2 strain it is constitutive because no repressor is present so we do not require lactose to um, to block uh, to inhibit this repressor to modify or induce a conformational change so in this case irrespective of whether lactose is present or not constitutive expression will occur so your correct option will be option one so i hope you guys have understood please uh, like and don't forget to subscribe i will be uploading more videos soon thank you